Hi everybody, today the UPS man dropped this box off for me. Um, as you can see maybe from the front here, this is Celestron Cosmos 90GT Wi-Fi wi Refractor Telescope. Um, I ordered this. This is my first real telescope that I've had. Um, I had another smaller one years ago, but it didn't really I didn't use it an awful lot and it ended up getting broken in a move. So I ordered this one to kind of spend some time looking at the moon uh, in particular, maybe some of the other planets. I was just going to do a video taking the thing apart here. This is the box that came inside the box. Um, has a picture of the telescope itself. Uh, shows the accessories. It connects via Wi-Fi to your tablet or your phone. Has some information about it. The outside of the box is actually really nice looking. Um, the packaging is really nice. The graphics are nice. Uh, it's sharp. Here we have all the documentation that comes with the telescope. There's basically a card that tells you how to uh, use their website to find exactly what you're looking for. This here is a poster, I believe, that comes with the Cosmos Wi-Fi GT telescope. Uh, this is from the TV show Cosmos. Uh, it's a cosmic calendar. And here's the instruction manual. Looks like it's got lots of pictures in it. A couple of different languages. Looks like it should be pretty easy to follow. Next thing out of the package looks like it's going to be the accessory tray. This accessory tray has a rubberized piece on it for your tablet or your phone so that it doesn't get scratched while it's sitting on it. There are spots for eyepieces and then spots for other accessories. Next we have the tripod. Once again, packaged really well. Um, I've read mixed things about the tripod. Some people say that it's kind of flimsy. Others say that it's just fine for the first telescope or someone who's kind of starting out. Based on just my initial, my absolute initial feel on it, it feels like it's not exactly flimsy, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's the most sturdy thing in the world either. Um, I can tell already that some of these bolts are not exactly as tight as they could be. So, that would probably help. Um, it does have nice color on it, uh, right around there. The piece that will hit the mount in feels nice and sturdy. All the hardware on it feels like it's done pretty well. It does have the mount on it there. I think it will probably work out just fine for me. Next we have a box. Not exactly sure what's inside this. Oh, we have a finder, basic finder. I think it's a red dot one. Not sure if it has batteries in it right now. Yes, it does. You can see the red dot just fine. It's adjustable. You can dim it down. Looks like it'll fit on the scope pretty well. battery 
battery pack for holding the AA batteries that will end up powering the scope. Um, I believe I'll end up getting one of the uh, portable battery packs uh, to power it so that I don't have to worry about using AA's all the time. I do have a lot of nice AA batteries, um, rechargeables. Uh, as you look around my mess of a room here, I didn't have my backdrop. You can see I've got radio controlled planes, things like that. I'm really into radio controlled stuff, so batteries aren't really exactly an issue for me, but I'd rather use the bigger tank so that it can control it for a lot longer than having to worry about changing out double A's and then realigning things like that. This looks like an eyepiece. This is a 10 millimeter wide angle fully coated eyepiece, just one of the two that the telescope comes with. And I guess this one's the other one. Here we have a 25 millimeter wide angle fully coated eyepiece. One more box inside here. This one says it's the diagonal mirror. This should be what we hook the eyepieces to the actual telescope with. This box has the actual mount in it. Once again, really well packaged. Lots of foam. Foam is actually connected to the box here. Uh, that's actually pretty nice. And this is the mount. This mount has. This is a spaceship of the imagination from the Cosmos TV show. Uh, when it's connected to Wi-Fi, it'll have lights that light up. Nice and heavy duty. Feels like it shouldn't have too much of a problem moving the scope around. I haven't read about anybody really having any issues with these. Now for the final piece. This should actually be the OTA. Obviously. <laughs> Again, well packaged. Lots of foam inside here. Holding it in place. On this side we have the Cosmos logo with the eye. On this side, Cosmos, a space-time odyssey by Celestron. Cosmos 90 GT Wi-Fi. It looks very nice. A little warning label not to uh, look at the sun with it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put this thing together. Okay, I'm going to try and put the telescope together now. Okay, there you have it. That's the completed telescope. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit dark outside, so I don't think I'm going to be able to really kind of adjust it. Uh, I need to adjust the finder scope, make sure it's pointed the correct direction, things like that. It's also supposed to be cloudy tonight, so I don't think I'm going to be able to use it. Um, hopefully this video has been kind of informative. I know a couple of times it kind of cut out. I don't know what my camera was doing, and I apologize for that. I'll try and cover whatever I missed in comments or, uh, I'm sorry, in uh, text on the video itself. So. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to use it soon. Thanks. All right, guys, I got the Celestron telescope hooked up to the Wi-Fi. Um, so as you can see right now, I have the app running, 
and then here's the telescope and now see when I press the buttons on the app the telescope itself will move up and down it's a pretty nice connection actually as soon as I let go the system stops moving a lot of times with iOS controlled things the system itself has a bit of lag but this one here it's literally as soon as I let go very cool